video. It's been a little while. Oh, donkey's having a heart attack. Okay, good. We got dogs yelling and everything. Uh, today's, oh, I was gonna make a video about my sled. I rebuilt the carbs in there. Um, it runs really good now. Definitely has the power that I need. It just bogged down and wouldn't run right. And for some reason it just keeps draining the fuel. Like, like it's not like it's not leaking from a line or the tank doesn't have a crack in it or anything like that. It takes overnight to drain out. And if you open up the carburetor and you look in there, it's covered with fuel, cylinders are filled. You have to take the spark plugs every time you want to run it. And Tons of fuel plugged out of there. And I turned the valve off and everything, so I don't get it. I don't know. I got like all new stuff in there and everything. And I know I did it right. I think. But, uh, yeah, this warm up 110. I'll show you what the 250 are. Oh, where it is. It's in there. Um, I'll show you the sled again because you want to see how ugly it really is. And the pipe leaks a lot. I don't know if I show you that in the last video. Killer compression took the seat off. Uh, Lift the track up. That's frozen. 
great. But yeah, got those two. Let's go see the 250 real quick. All right, I got this new bike here. I can already tell it's gonna hold really good stoppies because the front wheel locks right up. So that's good. Uh, 250s in here. I've had it in here since I lost my fuel screw. Cut to that. I was with all that time too. She got no compression because there's no fuel in there right now. So yeah, completely drained. I used it and put it in the 110. Um, I got money for Christmas, whatever. We'll be getting some mods, some uh, the full fuel screw, the linkage kit, and what else is it again? Valve shim kit, because it needs those adjusted too. And then in February, I think, past Valentine's Day, yeah. I think maybe the 17th, maybe 18th, 20th, whatever. We're taking this down to Florida. We're going to ride it on the hard rock. My last video, I rode the 150 there, and the air filter was doing wacky stuff. This one I don't have to worry about because I wasn't doing dumb stuff to it. Um, I don't know. The last video, you know, the last video I had was this. The clutch was fine, but since then, I blew a plate and I had to replace that. But yeah, seat cover looks great. Definitely looking forward to that. Gonna need to do some adjustments because of the altitude or whatever. But yeah, pretty excited about that, aren't we? You should you should come down. You need to get your bike too. Yeah. Um yeah, more videos of the skidoo coming soon. For sure, for sure. And what else, really? Well, we'll get your sled up. Get Caden's up. We'll all ride. Thanks for watching. Hmm. Maybe I think next video will be on the sled. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, turn off. Oh, wait. GoPro, start recording. <laughs>